Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS is absolute trash. I mean, this game is complete garbage. Ugh, oh, the 3DS, what has happened to this once popular freaking handheld? Um, the 3DS is an absolutely disappointing piece of trash now in the portable, you know, gaming handheld uh, history. Super Smash Brothers came out just a few days ago, actually, uh, uh, earlier this month, and it is absolutely so completely terrible, it's not even worth looking at, but for the sake of the true gamer. Welcome to another episode of the True Gamer Reviews, and, you know, taking a look at Smash Brothers for 3DS, it's such a, first of all, that title, they could have called it something else, I, I love that they just call it Smash Bros for Nintendo 3DS, like, they could have just called it Smash Bros 3DS, they could have called it an actual cool name, like Smash Bros, you know, super cool hyper edition, I don't know, something like that, but of course they gotta have some sort of crappy port, and first, we have to understand something. First of all, the only reason that they released this on the 3DS is because the 3DS is a top-selling handheld. It is easily the most successful current system that Nintendo has. It's really their only successful system at the time, uh, for the moment. So of course they're going to make a lot of money on this if they port it over to the stupid 3DS and have all these dumb kids and these Nintendo derps uh, basically waste money on this. I, it, it's a crabby port, really. It's a small, uh, little brother, you know, tiny version of uh, Smash Brothers and what Smash Bros could be. You know, this is not going to be anywhere near the level of the Wii U edition when that comes out. This is an absolute, you know, like, like a preview at best compared to the Wii, uh, the Wii U version. So I don't see anything special about Smash Bros. 3DS. You know, it's developed by Band Bandai Namco of all people. Unbelievable. Why would why would Bandai Namco waste their time on this Smash Bros. crap? I mean, are they not selling enough copies of of freaking Tekken and and Pac-Man and all the other crap they've released over the years? So they gotta get in with Nintendo now. I, I'm taking a look at the Metacritic scores. It's completely disappointing right now. It's not good, you know, it's very low. Taking a look at some of the more honest ones from the uh, user uh, scores of Metascore, Metacritic. This guy, uh, this guy gave it a 2 out of 10. Uh, JSB Dog 7, JSB Dog, very, very honest review. He, he says, as a religious Smash player, I was very disappointed in this new chapter of the series. <laughs> That's a stretch. New. Yeah, new. More like old. More like rehash, okay? Uh, we've seen this a million times. Anyway, he continues, uh, Nintendo took the competitive feel out of it and the game has lost its luster, of course. What really lost me was the horrible controls and the internet speed. <laughs> We're talking about a 3DS here. It's not a big surprise. He continues, the online play has one of the slowest servers a game has ever had, and uh, one person can drag everybody down in a multi-battle. Uh, you can't move the characters fast, and, and moves are harder to perform and chain for quick damage. Overall, the game is, is not worth it. I mean, absolutely, there you go, of course. It's a ported piece of crap 3DS, aka weak, crappy handheld port. Pretty much in the history of gaming, the handheld game, the handheld port, is the crappier version compared to the consoles. Because the consoles have actual, I, I mean strength, they have actual power, they have actual stronger components. They're, they have a bigger machines and they have more uh, CPU processing power, they tend to have more memory. And they are capable of handling much, much bigger games and much larger worlds and more, more complete, more complete experiences on the consoles. Not crappy 3DS, not, you know, garbage handheld like this. I mean, how pathetic can you get with this uh, handheld crap? Lance Vance 8 gave it a 3, a 3 out of 10. <laughs> a 3, uh... And he goes, I love Smash Bros, but this game is almost unplayable. Online with four players, it will run at five frames per second. Yeah, five frames a second. Three minute game uh, turns into 12 minutes of slow motion gaming. Ugh, 
Oh, how awful. Yeah, the, the frame rate goes down. It becomes so freaking choppy and pathetic because, I mean, this we're talking about Nintendo, first of all. They got crappy online. And then the 3DS. It, Smash Brothers is not meant for the 3DS or handheld gaming. We're, we're talking about a handheld Smash Bros. game. It doesn't work. The screen is much smaller. So you got the tiny screen, crappy controls, and then crappy online. So of course it's not going to work. Those are everything that makes the console version of Smash Bros. on, on the main systems work. That's what makes them so functional and playable. Yeah, so he goes, yo, I got to deal with unbearable online lag or get banned. Nice job, Nintendo. You better fix that in the Wii U version, of course. You got to be a complete pathetic Nintendiot. That's right, I just... I coined that phrase right now, Nintendiot. A combination of Nintendo and, of course, idiot. That's what a Nintendiot is. Somebody who's a consistent... Well, Nintendiot. That's what they are. I mean, even Games Radar. Yeah, we're, we're talking about official scores now. Uh, we're moving away from the user scores. We're talking about official ones now. Games Radar gave it a 60. <laughs> a 60 out of 100. That's not exactly a glowing score, you know. I mean, if you give a 60 to an, any game... It's like, ugh, that's a piece of crap. Games Radar says, uh, when you're afflicted by latency problems in local, local multiplayer, you'll suddenly become painfully aware of the 3DS version's critical shortcomings. Only a pathetic Nintendiot loser would defend this, this lack of quality from, from Nintendo, uh, Nintendo. Garbage 3DS, garbage handheld, garbage game, garbage port, everything is trash about this game. There's nothing fresh about it. Too much lag, it's not a big surprise, of course it's gonna suck, I mean, look at this. This was a money, a money move, a money grubbing uh, decision to put this franchise or this collection of franchises on the, the 3DS because again, the 3DS is the only one that's selling, you know, a lot of people have a 3DS and it's very popular, a lot of uh, little kids have it, so they gotta have Smash Brothers, ooh, Smash Brothers. And Smash Brothers is a big seller, so they want to keep making that money. They want to cash in on the the franchise. But this this is so pathetic that people consider Smash Brothers a fighting game. It's not even a fighting game series, really. If you think about it, it's a it's a crappy gimmick series. That's what it is. It's a gimmick party game that is more along the lines of like you know. Mario Party or something like that, you know, a chaotic on-screen action. It's not a fighting game. It's not a Tekken. It's not Su uh, Street Fighter. It's not Soul Calibur. Uh, you know, it's not Mortal Kombat. It's none of those games. Those games are actual, real fighting games. One-on-one, -on -one, or sometimes two-on-two. -two. Left guy, right guy. Guy on the left, guy on the right. They fight each other in this closed environment, in this controlled uh, very narrow space this this very small space between the two and whoever comes out on top that's what it, it smash brothers is more like it, it's it's a casual brawling game it's a chaotic game it's it's more of a party game it's it's more, it's like S shrek super slam or one of those early i remember there was a game on the dreamcast they clearly influenced the Smash Brothers or, you know, N Nintendo ripped it off. I think it was Power Stone. Yeah, Power Stone, something like that. Games like that. The Outfoxies, there you go. The Outfoxies by Namco. Ironically enough, I believe that was by Namco too, by uh, the, the Outfoxies game. I think that was by Namco, so you can come f full circle, I think, if this was actually developed by uh, Bandai Namco or at least, you know, w worked on it partially. There's not much else to say. This is a terrible franchise there's not much there's nothing good i can say about smash bros except it's it's a complete cash in gimmick and they try to make money so they try to have these gimmicky things like oh you can fight kirby against pikachu against donkey kong and samus Aaron. that's all nintendo has to rely on like it's so pathetic it, it's it's 2014 it's 2014 and we're getting games and franchises that started in 1999, in the late 90s, on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, on the N64, from, well, how much is that? One, two, like three, like four, four generations ago. Four gaming generations ago. 
or it's yeah at least four because that was the fifth gen the n64 anyway i'm rambling smash bros for 3ds sucks monkey nipples